Okay, paint shoppers, we're back again for part two of the Celtic Knot video series. That sounds really ostentatious, doesn't it? Sounds like I'm just really terribly important or something. But it's just part two. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to start conforming to some of the curves on this. And the curves are, let's take this uh, guides off the grid off for a minute. The curves are this, this, these, these, here and here, there and there. So you can see there's a lot of curves here. The, the curves get it, give it motion. So we're going to start working on those curves. And I get the view menu back on again. And away we go. So I'm going to start up here in this corner. And I'm going to be using the, uh, the pen tool for this one. And the pen tool works on vector layers. Now if you're steady enough to be able to draw a freehand line from here through this dot and make it land here without going all crazy and jiggly, um, then then you can do it. You don't have to use the pen tool. But if you can't uh, if you can't prevent jiggles and silliness, then use the pen tool because the pen tool will give you an incredibly nice smooth curve. Okay, so now that I've babbled on about curves, uh, let us just zoom in a bit more. Okay, so I'm going to start here. I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to have the 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 line run right through there. Okay, so there's my pen. It's on Bezier, and I'm going to start right there on that intersection of the grid, and it's going to end here. And without lifting my pen, I just start dragging that handle, and that handle will uh, give me right through there. And I just adjust it so it's just above the line between the two, and but it goes right through there and ends up there. Apply. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to do another one from here over to here. And the same thing is happening. Uh, there we go. And uh, let's see, is that good? If it's not good, I can always modify it with the... Uh, I, can, I, can, I can do this, actually. And if I'm not happy with where I've done it, I can, I can adjust it. Okay, there, I'm happy with it now. Okay, there we go. See, this one's a bit higher than that one, but that's okay. It's a, it's a creative license, okay? That's what we'll call it, creative license. Okay, now we're going to do this one. And over to here. And we're going to draw that through the, through the line there. And ending up here. And I guess I can right-click. You can right-click to get rid of these two. Apply. And this one from here. Up to here. Um, there. How's that look? That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay. Okay, so I'll finish these off. And uh, I'll pause it so you don't have to listen to me finishing it off. And then we'll come back and look at it. Okay, that didn't take long, did it? For you, maybe a second. For me, no, well, a few minutes. Okay, so now we've got the four corners done. And you try and be as exact as you can on these on these things right here. But if you miss it up, if you're a little bit off, don't worry about the uh, the Celtic knot. The Celtic knot police are not going to come after you. Uh, it, it's just you know you try and do it as best you can, and uh, you just get it better every time you do it. Okay, so now we're going to do from here to there to there, there to there to there, and I think I'm going to ask uh, ask. I'm going to add another vector layer here, and it'll be new vector layer, and we're going to call it. I call these things scallops. I don't know what they are, but I call them scallops. L L P S, and this will be the little, uh, the little things that give it some shape here, here, and here, and across the bottom up the other side. So let's get going with that. First thing we'll do is we'll zoom in a bit. These ones are kind of fun too because you go from here, and you want to draw the curve so it goes right through there. And then comes back down here. So this is how you do it. Make your, cur your spot there, and node there, with the Bezier tool. And then you just pull it without lifting the pen or le letting go of the left mouse button. You pull it till it goes right there. And you let go. Apply. That beautiful curve. So if you can do this curve like that freehand, hey, go for it. Me ain't never gonna happen. Well, it can, but you know. You'd think I was drinking or something while I did. 
Okay, there we go. Up, 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 up. And if you miss the dot, you can move it around a bit, and you got it. Okay, there's two. Now we got one more along the, along the side here, and that'll do from here down to here. And got the pen tool here to here, and draw it up. This one usually shoots off the screen a little bit. There we go. Well, that's pretty good. And apply. And I'm going to finish up the rest uh, while we're on pause, and then we'll take a look at it again. Okay, so now all the outsides are done. We've got here and here and there, these two and this one. Now we start. To, now we need to start doing the insides, and the insides will be a curve here, there, 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 on the two corners, the three corners, and everything. So let's let's start off. Now here's a hint. To get the curve right in here, um, I decided to put some guides in there, and I did this on a raster layer. And here, here are my little guides. And uh, if I zoom in a bit, and I'm using my pen tool, I can go from start here, finish here, and draw my curve right through there. And I can be exact with this. And you can see it's on a raster layer, these little guides. And as soon as I hit the thing to make this raster curve, or this, this curve, I got a new vector layer. So this will be the inside uh, curves. Okay, so here's, a, here's another one. Let's apply that. And here and here. And you can see how easily and quickly this goes. There we go. Apply the last one, or I'll get a curve from there to there. And here we go. There's another one. And the last one. And we only have the inside curves to do, and then we can start erasing and making this shape come to life. Okay, so there's cool, eh? Uh, let's back out a bit and take a look. Now you can see. So now there's now we can see the things we started start erasing. It'll be these here, these extra things. Now I can take the uh, raster off. There, it's gone. And uh, so now let's work on these ones here. So we'll do this. Okay, so I need an inside curve to conform to that outside curve. And that will be here. And it'll start right there. And it'll go here. And it'll go about halfway up. And you can see that's about it now. It's kind of conforming. Whoops, not really. I messed that up a little bit. Uh, that's a bit better. Uh, I'm not happy with it still. Uh, I'm going to undo it, and I'm going to undo it, and I'm going to start this again. I suppose I could have split. I could have had more guides running right across the, the halfway point here, but I didn't do it. Okay, that's close enough. Uh, we haven't got all day to do this. Another one here, and here, and again, if you're good enough to draw this freehand, hey, go for it. I'm certainly not. Okay, there's another one. Ha! I'm certainly not. I'm certainly Celtic not. Okay, a little bit of uh, humor with the uh, video. I offer the humor free. <laughs> it's not much good, is it? Okay, let's go up here. Uh, let's pull it out a bit more there okay there and then there's a few more to do I'll figure them out and I'll be right back hey there look at this okay so we've got a curve 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 corner curve corner curve curve corner curve okay so pretty much everything's done now let's turn off the grid and take a look I don't think we need the grid anymore now we don't need these dots either so we can get the inside dots and the outside dots we can get rid of them they are now gone. And all we need to do now is start erasing some lines. And we're done. So let's see. We've got ang we've got things going this way, and we've got things going this way. One is called 45 degrees, one's called minus 45 degrees. So let's start with let's start working on the 45 degree lines. And that is the ones going this way. So if I take my eraser 
and I come up here. Well, let's make it a bit bigger. We don't need it so tiny. And I'm just, see, I'm on the 45 degree line. This is a raster layer because I did this with the pencil or the, 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 the uh, brush tool. I can get rid of that one and that one. Whoops, and I went a bit too far. I went down into this area here. And I think I did on the other one as well. Okay, so let's zoom in. Let's be a bit more careful here. Okay, yeah. Now I will do this correctly. Okay, there we go there. And there we go there. And uh, let's go down. Let's see what we've got we can get rid of. We can get rid of this one. And we can get rid of these guys here. And this one. And this. See how this is going? It's just going around, taking what these uh, 45 degree lines where they're not necessary, where they're kind of hangers on. Or whoops, I went a bit too far there. Okay, and uh, the next one we'll do will be the minus 45 degree lines. We'll start getting rid of them. And uh, let's see, where are we? We should be almost back to start. Oops. <laughs> And there's that one. And this one. Can't believe how many there are, right? Okay, we're done. We're done the, the, the 45 degrees. So now we're going to go to the minus 45 degrees. That's the one that's going this way. So we're now going to start taking them off. And if you see anything funny like that, like that one that didn't come off, it means I didn't quite get it off when I was working the 45 degrees. Okay, so there we go. There's another one. I think I made a little... There we go. So this is where you can do the touch-ups to make it look good. And let's... There's the one. There's one here. I think I've got a soft-edge brush here, so it's uh, it's kind of fuzzying. And you can see there's another one I need to go down. See, it's a good thing that I made all these mistakes, so you can see how to overcome them. That's my excuse. Uh, let's see here. If we go there. Uh, there we go. And here. And there. And we're coming along nicely. Now the, the last part is the fun part. Well, the last part is what will create the knot. Um, the last part for you is to decide what you want to do with it. Now you can you can drag this onto someone as a tattoo on their arm. Um, you can color it. You can have it. Uh, you can do some of the effects on it. The the 3D effects. Um, I think it's called the inside bevel. It, it's kind of neat. Um, you can select the the white parts and um, add add all kinds of cool colors to it. Okay, so what do we got? Okay, let's zoom out and see what we got here. That took a while, didn't it? Okay, see, now you, you're, we've almost got a knot. So the last thing we got to do is we got to do the overs and unders. And the over and unders, overs and unders all go around here. So let us zoom in again, and we'll see how fast we can do this. So I'm going to start with this one with our little ribbon or our thing, it's going to go over top of this one. So if I go over top, that means these ones go away. That's the minus 45. Or that's the 45. Yeah, it's 45. Get the eraser. Well, oh, oh, oh. you don't erase with the brush tool, do you? Um, get the eraser. That's the one that looks like an eraser. Okay, we take this one off. There. There. And there. And now we're going to go to, this one's going under now. So those ones, the minus 45 will go away. And this is getting kind of long. You know, we're up to 14 and a half minutes now. But this is the most exciting part of the whole darn thing. Now we're going over again. And we're going to get rid of this. Because this is when it all, this is when it's coming to, it's, it's all happening now. 
Okay, so that was, let's see what we got here. Over, under, over. Now this is going to go under. So these ones will go away again. There we go. And now it's coming out here. And let's see, it's coming around here. So it went under there, so it's going to go over this one. So those guys will go away. I, I mean, it's going to go over. These ones will go away. Yeah. See, I always make a mistake with these things. Whoops, what did I do? Um, I want this one. What, what way am I going? I'm going over now, aren't I? So these ones have to go off. Yeah, I, I usually make one great big huge mistake when I'm doing this. And I have to go back and bring them all back in again. Over. So we're going under now. Now I'm going to finish this up almost to the last one. Then I'll come back and we'll discuss the last part. If you have any questions, get them ready. Be right back.